Uh, it's late, and uh, I think it's, what is it, after midnight. Uh, it's almost 1 o'clock here in Salt Lake, so it's really late on the East Coast where I'm from. But i got an important message I want to put out here today, and this um, comes after a 14-hour day that I've spent today one-on-one with Sean Whalen. Uh, hired him as a coach uh, to kind of get me past uh, a few things, uh, transition a few areas of my life. Uh, never hired a coach before. Never. Um, never even really contemplated the concept of hiring a coach. Uh, but had Sean come out and speak to our, our company and been following this guy forever. But I've seen some stuff from him lately that was just so incredibly powerful. The timing was just right in a transitional period in my life and my business and all these things that I'm doing that just made just made sense. And I had the first day of coaching with Sean today here in Salt Lake and picked him up at 9 o'clock and dropped him back off at midnight. Um, so it's been a long day, so bear with me. Uh, but I was just sitting here in the hotel room kind of journaling some of my thoughts, some of my takeaways from these 14 hours that I spent today. And, and I've had some, quite frankly, some, some breakthroughs and some things that you're going to start to see as we move forward. More of a mentality. Um, and I want to go through some of that with you guys. And, and I'm going to be real, transparent. Uh, a little bit raw with you, so I hope you will uh, allow me to do so. Um, doesn't really matter if you do or not. Um, but here's what I want to do. I'm going to just kind of run through these notes, and some some of it I'm going to be reading because I just wrote it. It's fresh in my mind, and this is not some kind of like rehearsed presentation. I just want to talk about some thoughts and talk about some things that I've been struggling with and some mindset changes that I've implemented today that I think are going to be huge uh, as we move forward. And I want to start off with this topic of legacy, this topic of legacy. What is legacy? What is legacy? So the interesting thing is over the last 17 months, as I've been putting myself out there on social media, documenting my life on social media, and providing value, providing value, providing value, and putting out an insane amount of content, an insane amount of content over the last 17 months. I was asked today, why am I doing that? Like, why am I doing this? Why do I have three podcasts? Why do I have a daily vlog uh, with TJ traveling with me 24 seven? Why am I spending all this time, all this time? And my answer has always been legacy. It's always been legacy. And that was my answer this morning when, when Sean asked me that. It was legacy. Man, it's legacy. Like I'm documenting this stuff so, so my daughter can see these videos one day. So my daughter can sit here in this room. And, and I would always kind of make jokes like, you know, with technology advances, she'll probably be able to put like a contact lens and, and sit right here. And, and watch this video play out as I talk about how I'm doing all this stuff for her. Legacy, 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 legacy. And man, it took about 11 hours today for me to come to this realization. And that is this. What kind of legacy Am I really building and creating? If my daughter has to watch a video to see it, what type of legacy am I really creating if my family has to watch a video to hear me say the things that I should be showing them on a daily basis. And it just, just flipped. Everything flipped for me. 
clarity. I've been saying these things over and over and over. And it was this this Gary V mentality that I've had of just put all this stuff out there not monetizing anything for five years it's just add value add value add value it's long term like it's you know all, all that but what kind of legacy is that really and it's almost it's humorous now when I think back to the things that I would say I would say stuff like I would say stuff like I travel away for my family, not from my family. And I used to think that that was the most brilliant thing I ever heard. Like, I'd never heard anybody say that before. And so the first time I said that, I was just like, that's freaking brilliant. Like, that's like, man, stick me on a Gary Vee meme right now. I can travel for my family, not from my family. Like, God, I'm such a freaking genius. Like, somebody, somebody quote me. Somebody put me on a meme right now. Put me on a freaking billboard that's brilliant. But it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Not building a legacy at all. What kind of legacy is it if in order for me to teach these lessons, my daughter has to go watch videos when I could be there and teach her these things in person? Show her these things. Because the way I've been running, like, she'd have to. She'd have to watch the videos. Because I'm gone all the time. And so why am I, so why am I really doing this? Like, why am I really doing this? And the answer was always to provide value, to provide value. Jab, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep jabbing, keep jabbing, provide value, provide value. Never expect anything in return. Never expect anything in return. Never ask, certainly, for anything in return. Provide value, provide value. For who? For you? For you? For the last 17 months, I have put you first. I have put you first. I've put me second. I've put my wife third. The money this month, you're not gonna write me a check, help me out. But that was my, it was my, Soul focus, my soul, every second of every day, every thought, every video, every vlog, every post, every podcast. It was for you. It's for you. All for you. <laughs> I counted it up the other night and it was 30, it's been, I put 3,200 posts just on Facebook. 3,200 posts in 17 months. It's over six posts a day. Over 1,200 of those were videos of me pouring in to you. But who was pouring into me? Who was pouring into my daughter? Who was pouring into my wife? But I had this I I was all in, right? Like I'm all in, like I'm convinced, like I got this figured out. Like, like it's long-term, babe. Like, like just, just trust me with this. Like it's long-term. Like think about what it's gonna create. Think about what it's gonna create. But what if I don't survive tonight? What if I don't wake up tomorrow? Where's the legacy then? And what I realized is that all I've been doing really, what am I really doing here, is I've just been feeding my ego. And I've been feeding my ego using this nobility of not monetizing as this just mask. But it was all just building my ego. And there's nothing noble about that. 
what what is noble about squandering squandering this finite period of time that I have on this earth with my family where is the nobility in that for what likes you guys don't even share the content so for what like I, I've, lit- I've literally worked myself almost to the breaking point and I was headed in the direction of the breaking point I was headed in the direction of doing all this at the detriment of losing everything and I promise had I kept down that road like I would have justified it it would have destroyed my marriage it would have destroyed ultimately my relationship with my daughter it would have destroyed my health eventually and I would and I would have worn that freaking badge of honor like that's how committed I am that's how committed I am I'm willing to risk it all but for what like for what for you and so I have completely shifted my mentality on all this now and I want to go deep and not wide I want to go deep and not wide and what does that mean what value can I really provide spreading myself as thin as I've spread myself not sleeping I was working 12, 14, 16 hours before even starting this process of documenting my life and you guys have seen the content like if you're on here right now you've seen the content that's come out like it's not just some easy quick thrown up stuff like it's it's hours and hours and hours and hours and the hours that we weren't documenting the hours we weren't capturing the content I was thinking about it and planning it and if I wasn't thinking about it and I was planning it I was stressed out because I always felt behind I always felt late I always felt like like I would wake up in the morning and I just feel like like in a rush and I'm like in a rush for what like in a rush for what like texting my wife like hey babe I'm gonna be home late like I'm just trying to knock out this trying to finish editing this vlog episode for what like for what really for what I just had absolutely everything everything backwards but to provide real value I have to go deep and that means that I can take my expertise I can take what I've done like I've, I've gone from being flat, broke, in debt, depressed, out of shape, to becoming a millionaire in three and a half years. I sold over 7,500 life insurance policies in three and a half freaking years. That has never, ever, 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 ever been done before in the insurance industry. And I would beg to say that translating it into any other sales job, sales career, it's never been done in sales before. And, and that's what I've done. That's the value that I can bring and provide. And that's what I'm going to start doing on a deeper level to those that value it, to those that see the value in it, and those that are willing for there to be an exchange to get that value from me. Because what I have done is I have completely devalued what my time is worth because it was building a brand, building a personal brand. It was providing value. And the reality is by doing it the way I was doing it, by spreading myself so thin, by running myself absolute ragged, 
I'm not able to provide any real value at all. And so here's the thing, guys. Like I come first. I come first. From here forward, I come first. Every post, every video, every vlog, and there's still going to be content. Like the, the content's not changing. The content, like I, I enjoy it. I love that part. But I'm doing it for me now. Like for me, I come first. My wife comes second. My daughter comes third. And shame on me for it taking me 17 months to figure this out. Shame on me. But such is life. Like you, you learn things by trial and error. You learn things by trying. Like, like I went all in, all in. I put my head down, said this is what I'm going to do. And then finally I looked up and I said, for what? For what? For freaking what? <laughs> like none of us are promised another week, another month, another year. And I'm sitting here talking about in five years and five years and five years and five years. Like I may not be here in five years. And I would say things like, you know, you know so-and-so a friend of mine would ask me, you know, doesn't your, you know, you need to be at home with your daughter. And I would always respond. I'd say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my daughter needs me now. You know, she's two, she's almost two, but you know when she's really going to need me when she's like eight or when she's 12 or when she's 16, that's when she's really going to need me. And what can I build over the next five years? What can I accomplish over the next five years and set myself up to be more free then? Which is just a joke. It's just a freaking joke. And man, I'm so happy, quite frankly, that I've figured this out now. That I didn't let it go too far. That it didn't cost me my relationship with my wife that my daughter is 20 months old and she's just starting to really, you know, become an actual human being with thoughts and personality. That I didn't figure this out when she's six, seven, eight years old because of what I would have freaking missed out on. Like I've just become so aware of the fact that like she is, is absolutely everything to me. And quite frankly, the fact that I was focused on providing you value and denying her the time that she needs with me is so, so messed up. And so now when I talk about legacy and now when I talk about providing value, I want to look at it from a, from, a, from a real place. I want to completely take off this mask of this nobil nobility, like, like, like a Mother Teresa out here. And looking at like people like Gary Vee and, and saying like, I'm just, I'm just living the blueprint that he's laid out. But seeing him monetize throughout the entire freaking process but thinking I could be the first, like I could be the first guy that's like at this stage in the game, documented the whole process, never asked for anything in return. And it's just that question, why? Why? Sean probably asked me why today 85 times. And each time we get a little closer and we get a little closer and we get a little closer. Why? Why do you, but, but why do you think that? But, but but why does it have to be that way? And finally, I was just like, it, it just, it started to be hard. It started to be a hard case to justify. I started losing all these canned response reasons of like, because the right thing to do and because it's, 
you know, noble and because it's like, you know, no one's done it before. And, and because five years from now, when I do start monetizing, I will, prov- I will have provided so much disproportionate value that when I do monetize at that point, that, that it would, it'll be so far beyond what I would have made during the five years leading up if I monetized since day one. And it's just not true. It's just not true. The king eats first. I come first. Not you. I'm not doing this for you. I'm not doing this video right now. I'm literally, I'm doing this video now to allow it to really sink in for me. Like I just wrote out, just going through these notes of like biggest takeaways from today. And I thought, I do videos for everything else. Like I need to do a video and put this message out there for me, for me. What good is running wide open and running myself ragged and, and all of this if I look up at the end and I've got no one else around me? You're not gonna be around me. You're on the other side of the screen. You don't know me. I don't know you. I don't owe you anything. And you don't owe me anything, quite frankly. But I do have tremendous value to provide. I do have tremendous experience and results over an incredibly impactful period of time in my life where I I know what it feels like to be absolutely depressed and not know which way is up. I know what it's like to go through an insanely difficult and painful divorce. I know what it's like to experience pain at the highest level. I know what it's like to be 272 pounds and out of breath from tying my shoe. I know what it's like to have, you know, $40 in my checking account. I know what it's like to to have a credit card not work trying to buy a beer at a baseball game when I'm on a date with my now wife. That's a true story. And I also know what it's like to make a lot of money. And I know what it's like to build a following. I know what it's like to put out great freaking content. And the content that we put out is freaking great. And nothing that I'm saying is lessening the quality of the content that I've put out. But the content moving forward will be based on the truth based on what's real and based on what needs to happen for me, based on what I need to put out. It's all for me. I used to think that was so selfish. You know what's really selfish is doing things for you and not my wife. Like I'm, I'm, I cannot wait to get home and have this conversation with my wife and it's going to be emotional and I'm getting emotional thinking about it right now, but like kudos to her for hanging in there throughout this craziness. And it's only because like, I'm a salesman, I'm a salesman through and through. And I sold her on this idea of this long-term vision. And she's seen some of the messages that would come through. Like she's, she's seen all that and it's, and it's, it's awesome stuff. Those that truly respect me will respect the value of my time. They'll respect the value of the content that I put out. And those that want to participate in that deeper level of value that I know I can bring will have an opportunity at some point here to participate in that. And those that don't, that's That's freaking awesome. I'm so glad you're here. And I hope you stay around. Those that do, that's freaking awesome. But I really don't care either way. Because this is, it's all for me and my family. And that's, that's all I care about. That's what's important. And that's legacy. That's legacy. I want my daughter to remember experiences that we had together. To not have to 
show people, hey, look, check out this video of my dad doing this cool thing. And like, this is, this is, this is what I thought. Like, that she would like brag about, like, like, check out my dad when he did, check out this episode of this vlog that my dad had. Like, look at this. No, 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 no. I want her to say things like, check out this picture of me and my dad doing this. Check out this video of me and my dad doing this. Man, I remember this one time my dad, you know, we went and did this thing. And man, I just remember he was just always there. I don't even be remembered as the guy that was never there. A guy that had to be seen on video because he wasn't around. It's so backwards. But I was so convinced. And now I'm equally and even greater convinced of my mentality moving forward. So that's it, guys. I just, I wanted to put this video out there because this is what I do. Like, I enjoy this stuff. But it's for me. That's pretty much it, guys. It's one o'clock in the morning. I've got an early flight tomorrow. I head back to South Carolina. And um, would love your feedback. Would love your feedback. Love your feedback. Hope everybody has a great rest of your night, early morning, whatever freaking time zone you're in. And uh, I'm going to go to sleep. It's been a long day. But it's been an extremely impactful day. Extremely impactful day. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for what's to come. I'm excited for those that I'm able to impact on a much bigger scale now doing it the right way and um, and that's it so with that guys you'll still see me I'll still be here I'll just be doing it for me now What's up guys, if you have not yet done so, please like my Facebook page. Then next to the like button, click following, which will bring a drop down. And when it says in the news feed, click see first. This will ensure that you will always see the content that we're pushing out. The last thing that we wanna have happen is for us to put out content that you actually want to see, but you don't. So make sure that you hit see first and we'll see you next time.